Perfect. You're a judge on American Idol. You have been. You're in that mentorship role. Um, I actually heard a story that when you were in the Commodores, you were sort of hesitant to be a front man. There was, Ugh. is this true? That is so true. I, I, listen, to show you how terrified I was, during the freshman talent show, when the curtains opened, I literally walked off with the curtains. <laughs> And they kept saying, Lionel, the microphone's right here. And so it took me about maybe five to eight years to really get comfortable on stage. But I, I, I suffer from a tremendous amount of stage fright. And of course, actually, it was the Jackson 5 tour that kind of took me out of that little, little nervousness. I mean, what do you say to people, especially since you're in this mentor you know, role on American Idol? And you know, I'm sure you've had so many countless situations where you've spoken to people. Uh, Is there something that well, set you free or well, you have advice on with that? You know, I, 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 first of all, I gotta tell you, with American Idol, I am having so much fun that you have no idea, but our job is to not scare them to death because we all put ourselves in their position. I can't imagine for my first time ever trying to ask somebody, do you like what I do, to be on national television. And then they come out and you can see their lip or their hands shaking and, and you, you, they're terrified. And I always like to say to them, you know, what is the similarity between a hero and a coward? I'll answer that. They were both scared to death. One step forward and one step back. And I said, right now it's okay to be scared but just make sure you step forward. I am so glad that I asked you that question. <laughs> and I can't wait to watch the season premiere on uh, Valentine's it's... Day, by the way. What a perfect <laughs> Palentine's, Galentine's, Valentine's, whichever you like. Um, I cannot wait. And I was also reading um, that there are actually tweets and Twitter phenomenons and you know, things all over the place about how good you smell. <laughs> in, Is that a rumor? <laughs> in fact, listen to this one. Um, at uh, Fallout, Carl tweeted, I once was told by someone who worked for his management team that Lionel Richie smells like sugar cookies. It makes perfect sense. What else would Lionel Richie smell like? Oh, and wow. I've had the um, wonderful. It, oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 they, oh, you went there. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, no. And I fully sprayed like myself oh. on both sides with uh, oh, yes. both scents. Uh, tell us about this new perfume and cologne. Hello. Well, well, Drew, let, let me just say this to you. You know, everyone kept asking me over and over again, what are you wearing? And I'm one of those kind of guys, I don't want to smell like everybody else, but at the same time, I like to make my own little concoctions. And so finally, someone talked me into, let's make one for you, for your fragrance. And I'm telling you, if you can believe this, we were one of the runners up uh, in the five category of fragrance of the year. Um, <laughs> pop culture, um, how about that? So I'm there with uh, Kylie and all the rest of the gang, if you like it. But the thing about it is, you know, creating notes in a fragrance and creating notes in a song is pretty much the same concept. It's just that one requires my ears and the other requires my nose. But <laughs> it, it's something I really enjoy doing. And the fact that it's doing so well is Makes me happy. Well, we love all things beauty and style here. And one more question. I heard your mustache has some special um, maintenance to it. Will you give viewers a tip? Because I read something that I didn't know and I loved it. Well, I, I gave away a little bit of a secret. Over the years, you find yourself, I won't say trapped, but spending lots of time in hotel rooms around the world. And someone gave me a 10 magnification mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. We women know all about that. You know, and a 10 magnification mirror in a hotel room with idle time only creates one thing. 
what is that hair right there? What is that hair? And so you find yourself tweezing and tweezing, and it looks pretty even. So a lot of guys sit there and shave. I just tweeze it, and it works, you know, but it's it's the funniest thing about it. It just came from idle time, and, and now that's the secret to everything. <laughs> I love it. I just love talking to you so much. I can't thank you enough. Hello by Lionel, this beautiful, successful, like huh. awesome hot brand is out right now. And the new season of American Idol premieres this Sunday, Valentine's Day at 8, 7 central okay. wow. on ABC. I'll be Love watching. It. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Big kiss, big hug and kiss.